Hello, I hope you're having a happy Monday. Let's just say if you're thinking about getting a 2018, anything over to 2018, any of the older model Volvos, um, S60, V60, uh, this is a 2015 and a half model that I'm currently driving. Just want to show you this because no semi-autonomous is actually advertised on this vehicle, but something I thought was actually rather impressive um, was the lane keeping to go along with the adaptive cruise control. So first I'm going to show you how to set it and then I'm going to show you it in action. The thing that I actually love about it, it doesn't have semi-autonomous pilot, but it will attempt to keep you in your lane, although you're going to go from side to side or hash mark to hash mark or line to line, right or left, or whatsoever, however you want to put it. Uh, but at the same time, it's effective in keeping you in your lane and keeping you a safe distance behind the car in front of it. So right now I'm actually here on 85, Highway 85, Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm going to slow down just a bit. I'm cruising at about 78, so I'm going to pump it back up to 80 miles per hour. And as I do that, I'm going to turn you around. I always love to show you the dash of what I'm driving. Of course, I won't show you the outside this time, but let's get to it. You've heard me talk about it. So, as I turn you around, so you can see the dash there again, 2015 Volvo S60. You do see the red in the center dash there, also behind the steering wheel. That's because I have it in the performance setting. And you can also see the digital miles. So to set the cruise, first I'm gonna disengage. So cruise is actually disengaged at the moment. So I'm gonna go here, press once. You can see the car icon in the back there. So once you press here to engage your cruise, now this one does have the dynamic, not dynamic, sorry. This does have the adaptive cruise control. So once I press there, then I can press plus or minus. You can see the 75 change in the back, which is actually right here. So now I have set it to 80, and cruise is engaged along with adaptive cruise control. Now, lane keeping aid, I'm gonna go back to the center here. You actually look at the very bottom there, bottom right, you can see it to the right of the A. The A is the automatic start stop. The one with the car and the lines, that would actually be your lane keeping aid. So I'm gonna zoom back out. You can see I'm actually coming up on a car in front of me here and the vehicle actually brakes to the speed of the car in front of me. So you can see it changing digitally, right here if you can't see that. And this guy's not gonna get over. I hate it when people don't abide by the laws of the road. Slower traffic, please keep right. So if you're on the highway, ever on the highway, please keep right, stay out of the way of faster traffic. Um, as soon as he leaves the front of me, we shall actually attempt to get back up to 80 miles per hour. I'm just gonna release the steering wheel. You've got your line to the right, you've got your line to the left. And if I release, I'm gonna zoom you all the way out here so you can actually see, sorry about the act release. That's a good drinking game. You should go back and visit one of my videos, by the way. The number of times I say actually, take a shot. Nice drink again. I don't drink, so I can, of course, sorry about telling you to do that. So as I zoom out, on the curbs, I did notice it doesn't hold quite as tight as far as keeping you in your lane. But as soon as we straighten back up here, you can see the stern wheel. Now you can see my hand right over here. I'm holding the stern wheel now. So now I'm going to fully re release, zoom out. You can see the stern wheel tilting. It's actually keeping me in my lane. Now I'm riding the outside lane. It's going to keep me there. Now I'm going back enter for the inner line. Now adaptive cruise is set. You could probably wonder why, oh, now it's gonna let me out there. Now it did give me a little shimmy of the steering wheel, but at the same time it did kick me out of it. So I'm gonna try that once more. And this is rain, so it's wet. The, the lines are not quite as readable when it's dry, but it's active. We're going toward the inner lane now. Let's see what it does. Keeps me in my lane. We're gonna head back toward the outer lane. You can see the white line of the road. Sorry. Not quite brave enough to let it go toward that yet. But let's see it here in action. It did let me out of my lane that time. Maybe it's to shift in the color of the pavement. So just keep riding with me. Sorry we don't have any tunes. We don't want to 
cause a problem with the copyrights, things of that nature. You can see my hand along the stern wheel. You can see where the cruise control is actually set behind the stern wheel. Now I'm gonna show you the front of the stern wheel. This is if you wanna follow closer. This is if you want to lengthen the distance to your following the car in front of you, which is the bottom here. Top there again, if you wanna follow closer, plus minus is gonna to be to accelerate, decrease your speed, resume is gonna be in the top left-hand corner, and setting your cruise is gonna be here. So once we have our cruise set, we're gonna do our plus and minus to set the speed. Once you press this, it's gonna lock in on the speed you're going. And remember, you have to have on your seatbelt. i not the best at that when I happen to hop in the car, but the car sends me a reminder each and every time. You probably noticed I did let go to stern well. But that's how you engage your cruise, resume, and set. Now, to get out of cruise, you can press your gas or brake at any time. Of course, we're gonna go around the guy in front of us. They're again, not abiding the law of the road. So once we are around him, we're gonna go back into our cruise mode. So let's see what we have right here. I'm gonna get a little closer to the line on the outside. So I won't have that far to go. I notice when it takes a harsh turn right or left, it will allow you to leave your lane. So there again. So we're gonna take this. Huh, ah, it's keeping, it's keeping. I didn't trust it, you saw my hand there, but it's, it's actually keeping in the lane. Now it's gonna release. It will only fight so long and then it expects you to actually engage in the process. Back toward the center lane here. And hopefully you have a fair shot of everything. I definitely wanna get you a shot of the road. You get a shot behind the steering wheel here. Full shot of the steering wheel so you can tell when I'm when I have released and when it's doing its thing. So I have my leg holding the bottom. I'm gonna release everything because we have a car in front of us. Speed drops down from 80 to 71 and it lets me out of my lane. A lot of this will be hindered by the wet pavement or the rain. So let's see what it does this time. Now this one's got a little bit of a pull to the right. That can be, and it keeps me in my lane. I thought that was gonna be a little harsh, but actively keeps me in my lane and keeps me behind the car in front of me. It's doing its thing. Hopefully you have a good shot of the steering wheel here. Now I can't go faster than the car in front of me and I cannot leave my lane because of the lane keeping at this particular moment. We're gonna shift back toward the left and it lets me out. Of course that was a little harsh. So we're gonna take off additionally here. But hopefully you have enjoyed this. Definitely keep in mind how to actually set your cruise. And I'm just gonna jog through that one more time for you. So to engage your cruise, which mine is already engaged. So I'm gonna eliminate, get out of that all together. Now you can see my little icon right on the bottom here. That was where the cruise was. You're gonna see that pop back up. So watch there, right up under the speed limit sign. You see the little icon there? My cruise has been set. Once I have my cruise set, it's locked in at the speed in which I was going. So I can release the gas, I can press plus minus. So you can see the speed limit show up there in the red circle. I have it set to 70, but the car in front of me is going slower than that. So now the adaptive cruise can, is set. You can see the speed limit at 61 right beneath. If I need to take over, I can press the accelerator, I can press the brake at any given time, and I'm back in action. Why? Nobody wants to abide by the laws of the road today. I have no idea. So we're gonna to continue to move forward here. And speed limit set to 65. You can see the lanes in the road. Gonna release the steering wheel once again. Keeps me in my lane. No problem at all. And it's riding that lane hard. But it will keep you in your lane. And keep in mind, this is a 2015 and a half. So your 2015 and a half, 16, 17, and 18, S90, sorry, S60, or V60, will all have your adaptive cruise control if you so desire to have that package on your vehicle. Um, I think it's the adaptive or the driver package. Uh, but definitely check with your local dealer to see exactly what that is. 
Uh, you just want it with the adaptive cruise control. Adaptive cruise control and the package itself will automatically have the lane keeping. And we're just gonna move right along. So thank you once again for tuning in. Just wanted to see, show you the 2015 and a half, 16, 17, 18, S60 or V60. Doesn't have the semi-autonomous pilot, but the adaptive cruise control with lane keeping aid, just as effective for most of the driving that a typical individual will do.